juice off, boy, don't I? <laughs> Hi, besties. How are we doing? It is Monday. I don't really have much to do today because I think I will have a lot to do tomorrow. So, I slept in, but I have a package. I ordered Jade City books because those are my favorite books and they ripped my soul apart and I think about them all the time now, every single day, um, every single hour of every single day. I'm thinking about the end of this freaking book. I listened to them all on audiobook. Look at them in all their glory. Pain and suffering. The third book is like glossy or matte and this is like textured matte. These books destroyed me. They are my favorite books of all time now. It's just, it's so good. I knew that a lot of the names uh, I just heard from the audio book narrator and I knew that they would be different in writing and this one character the, within the first second paragraph I thought his name is Barrow B-A-R-R-O-W no it's not it's B-E-R-O there's another character named Ken the narrator said as Ken and then new book comes I think his third book he goes Kane and I was like, is it Ken or is it Kane? How is this spelled? It's spelled K-E-H-N. So Ken, bestie, don't do that. I hate, I hate when narrators change the way they pronounce something. Um, not because it was actually pronounced a second way, but just cause like, <laughs> what was another one that it changed? And I was like, oh, Moon Papi Donwa. All of a sudden he started saying Moon Papi Dunwa. And I'm like, bestie, which one is it? <laughs> I'm really gonna start crying right now. Like, I love these books. Just the way that they're written, um, the way that Fonda Lee just, she, she scared me the whole time because she had so much power. And I love that she knew that. Sometimes I, I feel reluctant to give synopsises because I'm like, that's not what it is at all. How can I reduce such a monolithic story down to a few little words? Like, eh, it's a mafia story. Like, it's not. It's so much more than that. Oh my god. These aren't all the same size. <laughs> Why? Why would you do this? Who's, who's Orbit Books? I trusted you. The third book is much, okay, this is rude, this is foul. Um, I'm gonna go read and skim through these and cry. Normally, if I have audiobooks, um, or if I'm listening to like high fantasy audiobooks, I like to get the text so I can read along and like keep facts straight as best as I can. But I was trying not to buy any more books. But like, who, who, buy the second book? Who was I kidding? Like, obviously, I'm gonna need these books because these are my favorite books of all time now. So, oh my god, my posture feels horrid right now. I'm like, I love these books. It's Monday today. I'm currently reading The Name of the Wind. Yeah, I'm finally doing it. I think I'm a little more than halfway through. I was listening to the audiobook. I have had this audiobook for so long, but I was listening to it last night and I realized that I was falling asleep. So it's usually pretty hard for me to fall asleep when I'm listening to audiobooks. So yeah, I'm reading The Name of the Wind because I was inspired by Jade City because this was a book that intimidated me and i put off reading for so long and i absolutely loved it and i'm very much a mood reader like i cannot do tbrs but i'm very much in the mood to just power through all of these high fantasy books that i've been putting off for a very long time and so that's why i finally started name of the wind i've actually had this book and like had it on my tbr for six years when i started booktube in 2016 i had bought that book so it is finally happening i'm like halfway through the physical books in the other room but i was a little bit bored in the beginning i felt normal for high fantasy i um, mean it definitely picks up i don't know if i would normally find it so boring or if it was just because i'm coming off of the jade bone trill saga that i'm like come on let's go get moving because normally i don't mind when things are going slowly especially in a high fantasy i kind of expect that at points so Anyways, I powered through it and it picked up and it's very good right now and 
yeah and then because i'm like on this read books that i've been putting off for so long vibe i had actually made a cup of little little papers of said books so that i could just like one day if the mood struck me go in that cup and pull out one randomly and read it but i'm not that spontaneous of a reader like i can't do it but because this mood is prevailing right now maybe i will do that when i finish name of the wind because i don't think i'm going to continue on with the second book after i finish this one depending on how it ends i don't think i'll go with the next book because there's no book after that and i don't want to subject myself to that okay it's a reading week of reading high fantasy okay okay let's pray for us Cause that's all we wanted And that's 
I've finished, I've done it, I've read The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Finally, at long last, a book that I've been putting off for six years. <laughs> it's done. I did it. Um, in the end, I think I'm giving it like a 4.5 stars. Um, it was good. I enjoyed it. I had a pretty good time. I don't think that it lived up to everything that people made it out to be. Um, it felt like a very... I don't want to say average because no high fantasy is average, but it, it was like an average high fantasy, like a normal one. There was nothing like, oh my god, wow, you know? So, like, Jade City. No, I, <laughs> I know this isn't Jade City and I'm not trying to compare books, but I can't help it, okay? I'm fresh off of Jade City. A critique that I do have of this is that the, like, main female uh, character that we see in this book... <laughs> Manic pixie dream girl much um not the vibes uh patrick can't trust men obviously so that wasn't very like jarring it was just more eye roll okay <laughs> i would probably say this has like dark academia vibes so i feel like that just get past the first hundred pages they are a bit hard but if you if you really want to read this book you're gonna you're gonna get there you're gonna get through it i think that the whole time i was reading it i was trying not to get too attached in any kind of way because I know that this is an unfinished series for the past what is it now 11 years the last book was in 2011 so I, I wasn't like excited to like get through it or to finish it um, because I know that there's nothing after the second book so what's going on Patty anyways that is done let us now pick from the cup and that I will start probably tomorrow because it's already 12 o'clock No! <laughs> okay, a different one. I swear, every time I've like been like, ooh, let me read the, the one that I, like, I'm actually gonna do it this time. It's always that freaking book. It's a Bone Shard Emperor. It's the second book to the Bone Shard Daughter. Anyways, the Knights are, no. I don't wanna read that right now. I'm saving it for another day. Midnight Sun. <laughs> Midnight Sun! That's not the vibes! Malice. I don't even own it. Oh my god. Wait. Yes, I do own it. I'll consider it. Maybe I'll read Age of Ash next. I think, you know what? Conclusion is that I just need to redo this cup and take books out of it. Time that the stupid post office has been like, eh, no dogs. And I'm like, bestie, chill. 
you realize how many dogs I see in that post office and you don't tell them anything about it? And yet, I have a dog in my arms, not even one walking around like the other dogs that I see. And yet, you're gonna tell me something about it? Ma'am. Ma'am. He's not even doing anything. Good morning. I started Age of Ash last night. Um, it's a book that I started previously. Like, I started listening to the audiobook. Um, but then I never... Like, I wasn't paying attention to what was happening. And so then when I got home, I just chose a different book to read. Um, this was a few months ago when it came out. So I started last night from the beginning again. Um, and it's just it's just getting started. So I don't really know what's going on. But high fantasy. And it's quite short for high fantasy. It's 14 hours audiobook, which is 7 hours by the speed that I play my audiobooks at. So maybe I'll finish it today. Because what do I have to do today? Nothing really that I need to be focusing only on one thing so i can listen to the audiobook and do whatever else i need to do so good stuff um my day's already been ruined though okay <laughs> we've already gotten off to a bed start i figured you know what i'll wake up and i'll go for a morning walk all the way to the post office bad idea bestie because <laughs> somebody at the post office is going to be a booty hole and be a corporate bootlicker i walk up to this woman's counter i'm holding rocky in my arm she looks at him he looks at her. <laughs> I ask for stamps. She goes and gets the stamps. Comes back, rings me up, and then says, no dog allowed in the post office. And I was like, should I just leave? Should I just not pay for this? Like, why are you telling me n after, after the fact? Do you know how many fucking dogs I've seen in that post office? The sheer number of dogs. And dogs walking around on their little four legs. And I'm holding my dog in my arms leave me alone are you profiling me or something is it because i'm wearing an edward cullen t-shirt or is it because i'm brown like which one is it bestie why don't you tell those other people with their dogs other people that work at the post office have been like oh my god our dog is so cute like leave me alone it's literally 9 a.m okay like does the post office pay you that much to care no no anyways i'm gonna listen to age of ash and we'll see how it goes His fingertips Sending shivers Down your spine It's enough To make you lose Your sense Enough to make You lose Your mind There's magic In the way you move Always steady, ever wild And no there's heartbreak He holds close I feel it in the way he sighs <laughs> And maybe there's a way to think I can style my hands from shaking every time Feel like a fool But all I know is I'll be awake for an hour or two But for now Oh, for now It's the awakening in my chest It's the changing of the the way I know one day when I'm old I might not have I might not have you oh, maybe there's a God above if he can teach us how to love then maybe we could all make it through but all I know I need you here for an hour or two Cause for now, oh for now I want you, I want you, I want you I want you, I want you 
finally put stuff up on this wall. Uh, my cramps are starting and I'm not happy about it. I literally fear it coming every single month. It's like not fun at all. <laughs> I don't know how people like walk around like nothing's happening. I literally incapable of doing that. Um, the last few days were not good days, so I just haven't really been reading or watching documentaries and stuff, so I, yeah. I tried to start Dune after I finished Age of Ash, but I think I'm just not in the sci-fi mood. I don't know. I will say that I like fantasy and sci-fi, but I feel like I can't even tell you what the last sci-fi book that I read was, so maybe another day. Um, just now I started Shadow of What Was Lost. Is that what it's called? I don't know. I thought that book came out relatively recently, but no. It came out in 2014. That was a long time ago. But I finished Age of Ash and it was pretty good. It was a very standard fantasy. Nothing like, wow, special, crazy, intrigue, you know? Um, but it was still like a good, it feels like a palate cleanser almost. Um, it felt very YA. So, yeah, I don't think it's why. I think it's a regular, like, adult high fantasy, so. I really like the character arc. It made you, like, frustrated with the characters, but then it was, like, I think good payoff, so. Very solid. I th think I gave it a four stars. Um, so those are the books that I read this week, which was... What was the first one that I finished? The Name of the Wind, Age of Ash. Is that only two? Did I only finish two books? Alas, but um, now I'm gonna go crawl into a ball of pain and suffer for the next two days. Wish me luck. <laughs> Let me know if you guys like these book videos, if you'd like me to like focus on like one genre for a video. I know I'm a mood reader, so I'd have to like film it in a certain mood, but let me know if you like them because I like making them, but I don't know if people like them. So I'll probably make them even if you don't want them. Sweet, be late for